A horse is tied to a 15-foot rope, and there is a bale of hay 25 feet away from him. The horse, however, is still able to eat from the hay. How is this possible? Answer. The rope wasn't tied to anything. Well, other than the horse. At the North Pole, I happened to spy 50 animals swimming by. I saw 10 seals chasing their tails. I saw 10 walruses. I saw 10 whales. I saw 10 polar bears. Me oh my. So how many penguins went swimming by? Answer. There will be no penguins swimming by. This is a bit of a trick question, because penguins actually live in the South Pole, not the North Pole. The king of the jungle is holding a meeting, and all the animals have to come. When you are going to the meeting, you come across a crocodile river. How do you get to the other side of the river? Answer. You might kick yourself if you didn't get this answer, but you simply just swim across. All the animals are at the meeting, so there won't be any crocodiles in the river. A man on his deathbed informs his three sons that he will leave them his horses in his will. To his eldest son, he leaves half of his horses. To his second son, he leaves one-third of them, and to his youngest, he leaves one-ninth. After he passes away, the three sons went to get their horses, but only discovered there were 17 horses. They did not want to sell or kill any of the horses, and they could not think of a way to divide the horses exactly as their father wished. Just then, their next-door neighbour came riding along on his horse and listened to their problem. Immediately, the neighbour thought of a way to divide the horses, just as their father had wished. What was his easy solution? Answer. The neighbour added his horse to the 17 horses that were left in the will for the three sons. If you are any good at maths, then you'll know that this adds up to 18 horses, which means the eldest son can take half of the horses, which is 9, the second son can take 6 of the horses, which is equal to one third, and the youngest son can take the last two remaining horses, which is equal to one ninth. The neighbour can then ride off on the same horse he arrived with. One day, John and Sue were out hiking. 
they saw a few tarantulas on the way. This gave John an idea to win some money. Sue, he said, I'll bet you $5 that the tarantula over there can crawl without using its own leg muscles. Sue thought she would win, but she didn't. How can this be? Answer. If you know your science, then you'll know that tarantulas do not use muscles to move their legs. Instead, they control the amount of blood pumped into them to extend and retract their legs. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please show your support by leaving a like and sharing this video, as it really does help us a lot. Don't forget to comment below too, and we will pin up the best comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video from us. Lastly, for daily facts and more, follow all of our social media accounts, which are on screen and in the description. Thanks, and until the next video.